as you can see here I've put the flywheel on with the six degree the six degree key and I've rotated the flywheel all the way so that there's a gap on the on the trailing side of the key I don't know if you can see in there or not the way I'm going to keep it there while I'm torquing it down is by way of this. This is a standard ma wooden matchstick that I've turned down a bit on the uh, the belt sander and I, what I'm going to do is just stick that in there to fill that gap like that. Go ahead and stick it in there good and that will basically take up the slack on the other side in the keyway while it's being torqued down so it doesn't move while it's being torqued and you can just snap that off and you can just leave that in there once it's done and that will keep it from rotating back as you can see here that C-clamp and the wood was not quite enough to keep it there so I added some vice grips underneath to keep the wood from being pushed down and also add extra clamping force to the skeg it's okay if the prop digs into the wood I expect that it's soft wood and I'd rather have that than the prop to be damaged but that will keep it keep the prop stationary while it's um, while I'm torquing the flywheel on actually I had to switch to metal because it appears that the wood was not strong enough I was starting to break the tomato steak so next okay next attempt the metal was not was a nailed apparently uh, not hardened so now I'm gonna try a piece of square stock hopefully that'll work <laughs> 